EndNote Desktop's built-in library sharing feature makes it easy to collaborate, but there are times when you may wish to share only part of your EndNote library. EndNote Group Sharing is a great solution that grants access to a specific library group to co-authors, professors, research assistants, and others via EndNote Online. To share a custom group from EndNote X9, start by opening your designated EndNote Sync Library. Make sure the custom group you'd like to share is highlighted and then right-click on the group. Choose Share Group from the contextual menu and then start defining the email address or addresses associated with your Sharee's EndNote online accounts. You can share each custom group with up to 1,000 EndNote online users and assign read-only or read-and-write access rights on a per-user basis. I'm inviting my colleague Rick and granting him access to this shared group in my EndNote library that we'll use to gather and review resources for a project. Feel free to add a personalized message to the invitation email that EndNote Desktop will deliver to your new sharing team members and press invite when you're ready. Your group sharees are listed above on the sharing window. Clicking the gear icon next to a sharee will reveal additional options to remove the person from your sharing team, remind your sharee of their group access, or modify their existing access rights. I'm going to change Rick's permission and assign him read and write access. You can return to this screen anytime to reconfigure your sharing list, but we'll press close to leave this window for now. It's important to note that file attachments are only accessible by the sharer and not viewable by group sharees. If you'd like to include file attachments from your library along with your shared references, you'll want to set up EndNote Desktop Library Sharing instead. A new feature added in EndNote X9 displays Group Shared With You by Others as shortcuts on the Groups panel in your designated EndNote Sync Library. Clicking a Shared Group shortcut will take you directly to the associated shared group within EndNote Online. Group sharing isn't limited to EndNote Desktop users and can also be configured directly from EndNote Online. To set up a shared group in EndNote Online, after logging into your account, point your mouse over the Organize tab and click Manage My Groups. Press the Manage Sharing button next to the group that you'd like to share, and then click Start Sharing This Group. Use the pop-up window to define one or more email addresses associated with your Sherry's EndNote online accounts. Here, I'm adding my colleague Henry to this group sharing team. Press Apply to finalize your changes, and then finish by clicking the Close Window link. Set individual access rights on a per-user basis, just like from EndNote Desktop, and your list of Sherry's is always reconfigurable by returning to the group's Manage Sharing screen. Please note that configuring a shared group directly from EndNote Online will not generate invitation emails for your new sharees like EndNote Desktop. Group sharees added via EndNote Online will instantly see your newly shared group below the Group Shared by Others heading found at the bottom of EndNote Online's Quick Search and Groups panel. Here's a group that's been shared with me, and this icon lets me know that I've been granted read and write access by the group sharer. If you'd like to stop sharing a group, permanently or temporarily, return to the Manage My Groups page to uncheck the Share box next to that particular group. EndNote makes managing team collaboration more effortless than ever. Please visit EndNote.com to learn more.